Okay, I'm going to make this quick little video here. Some of you probably remember this. Power Macintosh G4. Had it on the live stream and it didn't boot. So here's the configuration. I have figured out why it doesn't work, or at least a possible reason why it doesn't work. I'm going to fire it up right now. And maybe possibly show you what the symptom is. Please forgive the fan. I don't feel like turning it on in a short little video. Watch it work. It probably is going to work. Yeah, now it's working. Of course not. I was going to tell you that this memory module right here is no good. Maybe it is, because I just managed to... I think I just got it to crash. So... Yeah, I... That, yeah, that just, uh, that just exploded right there. So I bet if I restart it... Will it behave strangely now? No. Obviously not. But yeah, every time I wiggle that rim stick, it seems to stop working. Shut it off here. See if I can trigger a reaction out of it by pulling out everything but that memory module. See if I can get it to do what I want. Just simplify the configuration a little bit. I think it'll do it. Oh, it's not going to do it for me. Oh, it's on video, so why would it do it, right? But I was getting three beeps. But yeah, no, if I wiggle that memory module around, it stops working. But now if I remove this, I put in another module, just one of the other ones. They're all matched except for that one. That is, these are all... I believe these are all 256 megabyte. No, I'm sorry, these are all 512 megabyte. Are they really? 512. That one said 512 on it. No, that one's 256. I suppose that one's also 256. Yeah. So a pair of 256s and a 512. Let's see if it works this time. Now is when it'll show that I'm an idiot and it'll not work. If I wiggle that memory module. Maybe it's a slot for all I know. But yeah, no, you see, when I wiggle that memory module around... Oh, come on. Hey, come on! What? I'm wiggling it around, and that's still moving, so... I think I found my problem here. So, there you go. When your system, your Power Macintosh G4, acts as though the hard drives are bad, check the memory. In fact, that's probably the first thing you should always do on, excuse me, one of these. Check the memory. Because maybe that's what the problem is. It's a quick little public service announcement from CP666.